Well, all right, welcome back for another beer experience. I'm Kevin with Crafty Beer, and you're asking, what's today's beer experience? Well, we have a Neapolitan stout. Today's Neapolitan Stout is from Untitled Art. Um, apparently they're a gypsy brewer in Wanakee, Wisconsin. They were started by Levi Funk and Isaac um, Shawaki. And Isaac Shawaki also started Octopi Brewing, which is a contract brewery. Um, so I'm assuming that this is probably brewed there. It's a collaboration um, with Bottle Logic, which is actually a brewer in Anaheim, California, I believe, and they were started by Wes Parker. Well, they were started by a couple people, but I think Wes Parker is their um, brewmaster. So it's a collaboration between Bottle Logic and Untitled Art. I'm thinking it's probably was brewed at the Octopi Brewing Facility, which again is the contract brewer. Um, Octopi Brewing did have their own uh, house brand uh, third sign I think that they brewed and distributed um, in addition to the contract brewing they did and then through the sale of a distributorship or something they wound up with a legal um, a legal battle going on and I believe they chose to just stop production of third sign um, for out of that I think um, Isaac probably started a couple or got in on a couple other brands and I'm guessing that Untitled Art is one of those brands that he got into um, as I said, they're contract brews, so they probably brew um, quite a few number of different brands at that facility. Anyways, it's a Neapolitan stout, so the stout, we should be up for some coffee, dark cocoa, roasted flavors, dark malts, low carbonation, usually a little bit heavy, maybe a little mouthfeel that has some coating to it. It's um, Neapolitan stout, untitled art, collaboration with Bottle Logic. It's an 11% ABV, bottled and brewed um, by Untitled Art and Bottle Logic in Wanakee, Wisconsin. So the label is what appears to be the oil painting, uh, some kind of artwork. The artwork, I don't know, I, I get a large redwood tree with a woman facing away and some other stuff there. I don't know what you know what's supposed to be but that's what I see I don't know what's the name of those tests where you look at blobs on paper and it you decide what you see in the picture or you know sometimes you look at clouds and you see things I see a big tree and a woman looking away anyways that's the label and it's got the bottle logic logo on there as well untitled art on the bottle cap all right, let's um, get this stout in the glass and get this experience on. It's got a pretty strong aroma. I can I can smell this already. Yeah, that's a another good looking beer. Looks fairly carbonated. I mean, I see a lot of carbonation going on. It's got one finger of a dark tan head, lots of bubbles, fairly compact. You know, like I'd expect, can't see through this thing. Black, opaque, not, not ink black, but dark, dark coffee. N no light coming through this at all. And I, like I said, I could smell this when I opened the bottle. Definitely a little bit of coffee, but an off, it's an off coffee. I get a, I get a little bit of like a, a vegetable, like a cooked vegetable with coffee. Maybe, maybe a slight touch of vanilla. Yeah, it's like something cooked with with coffee, hint of vanilla, and that's it. Not not a very not a very complex, fairly strong aroma to it but not very complex yeah I'm not sure what that what that what reminds me of vegetable is I don't something cooked some cooked vegetable yeah anyway so it's it's not that usual roasted coffee maybe chocolate smell that I get with a lot of stouts it's a little bit different I 
Not sure what it is, but it's a little different. So let's dive on in and see what this thing has in store for us. Cheers. Oh, that's good. That's really good. It's got the usual little bit of coffee. And I, that's like, I don't know if it's a cereal bready sweetness to it. It's got a, it's got a, a good, nice, it's got a sweetness to it. And I don't know why it reminds me of this, but it tasted like Captain Crunch, the cereal that you'd have when, a, when you were a kid. That, that sweet, and I don't, I don't have any idea really what Captain Crunch is made of. Probably absolutely nothing natural. In it, but that sweetness for some reason that's exactly what it reminded me of. If you had, if you were eating a bowl of Captain Crunch and you were using like coffee milk, that's what this gave me the first time through. Wow, so Neapolitan stout. I'm not sure what that necessarily means. I know that most Neapolitan stouts I see are Neapolitan milk stouts, so I don't know if that's term is one and the same. This doesn't say anything about being a milk stout, but it definitely has a sweetness to it like it could be. So if Neapolitan means that it's always a milk stout, let me know. But it's got a real nice sweetness to it. The, co the coffee flavor is definitely there. It doesn't have as much, doesn't have really any of that coffee bitter that you usually get with a real roasted coffee thing. It's not very roasty. I don't get any smoke. Hmm. Yeah, it's got a nice sweetness to it. I don't know if that if I'm if that that thing I'm trying to describe as cereal is like if it has some bready breadiness to it. You know, if that if whatever the malt is in this has a real bready uh, sweet bready character to it or if there's something else that's that brought that sweetness out, it could be just could be just the malt. Maybe you know, it's not a milk stout. It doesn't say it's a milk stout, so probably no lactose which would give it the the sugar. Maybe it's truly just that grainy malt sweetness, a little bit of coffee coming through, maybe a touch of, maybe just a touch of vanilla. And the, the nose has got this, what I don't know, it seems like, a, like I said, a cooked vegetable thing to me, but that's not part of the flavor at all. So I don't, I don't know, could, could really just be me. But I'm the one enjoying it. So what I think is, you know, is, is the experience I'm having. All right, let's keep this short and sweet. I'm gonna check this in real quick on Untapped. All right, another one checked in. I went with the flavor profile of chocolate, sweet, vanilla, smooth, and cereal. I gave it four and a half stars. I really enjoyed this one. This is just a really smooth, nice, non-offensive stout. Um, I really like this one. 11% um, ABV, so might have gone through this or am going through this too quickly, but but that's all right, that just, the flavor is awesome. So that's checked in. Untitled Art, Neapolitan Stout, done in, uh, I guess, as a collaboration with Bottle Logic. If you can find it and you like stouts, this is um, really smooth stout. You know, this is, a, this is a good one that's not really bitter, um, not boozy at all, a little bit uh, sweet, like I said, reminds me of a cereal. All good, all good stuff. All right, well, if you've had it, leave me a comment. So hit subscribe, leave me a comment, do all that social media stuff. Um, find me on Untapped Crafty Beer. And until the next time, I'm Kevin with Crafty Beer. Cheers.